morning, everyone, and welcome to another uh, session of reflections this morning. It's a lovely day out there. I'm, I'm itchy to go out, and I know a lot of you uh, are wanting to go out too. Um, I know here in the U.S. it's Memorial Day. It's a holiday for us. I know that also in Nigeria, I, I'm told that the whole week is probably, eh, never mind me, that's ladies out here. Um, I'll just put it back on. I'm told that in Nigeria too, it's a holiday. So um, just enjoy yourselves today and um, take time to take time to do what you've not been able to do for a while. Oh, well, I guess it's not working. So that's all right. So a little, a little um, hiccup here and there should not ruin your day for you. So if you woke up this morning, uh, congratulations. It's the day that the Lord has made. It's a day to be glad. It's a day to rejoice. It's a good day. It's also the beginning of a good time for you by the very special grace of God. So take time today to just step out, but make sure that you do keep safe. And because I know that you want to go, I'm not going to take too much of your time. This morning, we've been talking about wisdom now for about two weeks. So this morning, I want to look at being yourself, being yourself. Many times we think that we cannot achieve, we cannot accomplish because we see something in other people that we think that we do not have. We see other things in people that we think makes them to be better than us. But I want us to understand, and of course, if you've been here for a while, you know that all of us are specially made, uniquely made, gifted by God uh, for specific purpose and for specific situations. So just be yourself today. Be yourself today. If you go to 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter, chapter 17, And I'm starting from verse 38. It's a story you are aware of. Um, David and Saul, uh, David was meeting Saul probably for the first time one-on-one -on -one, um, because he had gone to the camp to visit his brothers and Goliath was there threatening the children of God. And so David said, I'll go. I'll go and face this Goliath. Remember that all the other big military men were scared and they were not going anywhere. They were petrified by the hollering and the threatening of Goliath. So Goliath, apart from his huge size, was also waging a psychological war against the children of Israel. So um, they were petrified. They, 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 they were scared. They were totally paralyzed by, by, by fear. Until, until David came. And when David came, David said, I will go. But as he was getting ready to go, they looked at him. Look at this little boy. What does he have on? He doesn't even have on a, 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 a um, proper military uniform. He does not have proper defense systems. Um, he does not have a helmet. He does not have uh, a helmet to pro protect his head. He does not have a breast, breastplate to protect his chest. He does not have um, a sword that he can use. Uh, as, a, as, a, as a weapon of offense. He has nothing. Um, so Saul said, come David, let me properly equip you. And so he took off his own armor and put it on this little teenage boy. Um, the Bible tells us that David, that Saul gave David his own armor. He gave him a coat of mail, which is a steel coat to protect him. He gave him a sword. And he gave him a few other things. But after having done all of this, David said, I can't go in this. I cannot go in this. I'm not used to them. I'm not used to them. I can't go in this. So my word for you this morning is just be yourself. Don't look across the lawn at your neighbor's uh, Seemingly greener lawn. Don't try and use the giftings that other people have. It's not going to work. You are different. There's a young lady I, I, I love to listen to from time to time. Her name is Di 
Ajiola, I believe it's fashion watch. I'm not sure, but I know her name is Ajiola. She does, she has this blog and she talks about the, um, the, 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 the political system in the satire, you know, and also sometimes uh, comedy. But she's getting a big, a huge message across. However, every time she talks, and I, I'm sure that there were people when she was, before she started going really big, people who would um, tease her about her voice, people who would tease her about the way she spoke. Um, maybe when she was in school, the way her voice sounded, there would be classmates who would make fun of her, schoolmates who would make fun of her. And here we are, how many years down the line? Here she is. People are watching her all over the world. There's nothing new that she has. It's what she has always had, her voice, <laughs> you know. Um, and now she's using it. So the people who are laughing at her, who are, I don't know, I'm just guessing, because she has a, she, her, her voice is unique. It's a little funny until you settle down to listen to what she's saying. And then you, she has caught on. Or there's that other lady in, um, in uh, Uganda, the comedian. She, she also has, I think, uh, a degree in social work. And she will comment on social things, but she will do it in, in, in a comedy fashion. She has a very small, she looks like a child. I'm sure there will be people who have called her shorty and, um, you know, teased her and made fun of her because of the smallness. Of, 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 of her stature. But they are not laughing anymore or laughing at her anymore. They are laughing at her jokes now. Be yourself. If there's anything people like, and this is especially good for our children. Some of our children, they are being bullied because of the way they, they are, their head is shaped, the way their face is shaped, the way their legs are, the way, you know, their stature is, maybe they are thin, maybe they are, they are you know, they are, they, they are um, what, 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 they are more generously proportioned, you know. But everyone is specially designed the way they are for a time and a season when that thing in their life will make them shine. David said, I can't go in this. I cannot go in this. I'm not used to this. He did not need Saul's helmet. He did not need Saul's sword. He did not need Saul's breastplate. He took what he was familiar with. Remember, he was a shepherd's boy. He took his stones. He took a sling. That was all he took. He said, I'll go just the way I am. So this morning, go just the way you are. Tell your children, you look wonderful. You look great. Just go the way you are. Go with God. David went with the Lord. He said, I come to you in the name of the Lord. The captain of the army of Israel. That is all he went with. And he went just as he is. A little while back, somebody brought a little boy to me. He, had, he was being bullied in school. They called him all kinds of names. Because of his stature. And because of the way he looked. And because of that, he began to act out in school. They bullied him, and then after a while, the teachers also got in his case. And the teachers also started to make life difficult for this child. And the poor baby was miserable. So his parents brought him. He came, I, 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 I held him. I said, Look at me. Said, when you get to school and they start making fun of you, tell them I'm special. God says I'm special. God says I belong to him. You need to have seen this little boy by the time he was walking out of my house. He went with his head lifted up high, went back to school. Of course, I prayed. 
operate with him. Because again, whatever way he is, the Lord has to go with him. It is the presence of the Lord that makes a difference. But he was also not confident in who he was. And as he went back with his head lifted up, a week later I asked the parents, how is he doing? They said, Pastor, he's wonderful. A month later, how is he doing? Pastor, he's wonderful. Three months later, how is he doing? Pastor, he's wonderful. Yesterday, I still called them. I said, how is he doing? Pastor, he's wonderful. No more a victim. Comfortable in who he is. The Lord going with him. This morning, the Lord will go with you. Be comfortable in who you are. And believe me, nothing out there can take you down. It did not take David down. The Goliath did not take David down. The bullies of Goliath did not take David down. The harassment of Goliath did not take David down. David went just the way he was and he went with God. As you go out this morning, go the way you are. I send you out with God this week. It shall be well with you. You will do wonderful. God bless you real good. When all this is over, you will be counted among the living. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Enjoy your holidays. It's Fumio Bilano Reflections. Join me again tomorrow morning, same time. God bless you.